see what you're doing. I think it's great. It's exactly what I've been waiting for. So just, you know, sign me up, coach, put me in, whatever you want to call it, all right? Really? Yeah. Do you have any pre-existing conditions? <sighs> Are you kidding? Look at me. I'm a rock. Yeah! I think while I'm working, I feel like I'm married to my work. You know, I always think I'm going to have time to take up Thai cooking or, you know, while I'm on set or something, you know, you think you're going to have all this downtime, but you're really, like, you're making a movie and that's what you're doing at the moment and that you kind of eat, sleep and breathe that. So I can relate, you know, to a certain extent. But then it, that ends, you know, whereas, uh, you know, unlike news, it's never ending. I've won eight Peabody's, a Pulitzer, 16 Emmys. I was shot through the forearm in Bosnia. Pulled Colin Powell from a burning jeep. She's terrific. She's uh, she's got a real uh, emotional reality uh, that she brings to every scene. It's really interesting that she can keep all the comedy uh, chops going at the same time keeping a very real uh, emotional context. Look, my, my radar for that kind of thing is so bad. I, I mean, I don't know if a man's interested in me until he's naked. <laughs> I mean, the pants come off and then I'm like, oh, I guess you don't really want to see my CD collection or talk about Kerouac. <laughs> You're nuts. Um, I try, you know, I just, I really just tried to make him as grounded as she was frenetic at times. And I think that's the balance of having someone the complete opposite of her to try to just you know, uh, help her when I could and, and be there, but, but also have a, uh, a little spark with her. Take what you want.